welcome everybody to art time. I hope that y'all had a great day and are ready to have a fun little art lesson. You will have a canvas in front of you that's already sketched, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to draw this should you want to. So the first thing that we're going to do is draw kind of in the middle here, just a fluff ball. So just think of a super fluffy cloud and then we'll stop about right here because that's where we're going to put the face. We're going to draw two straight legs and then we're going to have some grass come up here at the bottom. And for the face, we're going to draw an oval kind of tilted and we'll add two ears. And in the center, we'll draw a heart. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and write the verse. You don't have to do that. It's up to you if you were practicing this part. Now, I actually do not have very good penmanship. When I draw lettering, I draw it just like I do everything else. I look back and forth at what I am trying to recreate. And there's lots of different ways to transfer images uh, with transfer paper uh, that you can look up online and get materials like that also from Hobby Lobby. All right, so we've got our little shape here. Now, what we're gonna do first, I know that your background's white, but we at least wanna add a little bit of white paint on there. So I'm gonna suggest that you use a long brush that has a wide tip and we're gonna go ahead and grab some white and we're just gonna start and brush and grab a little bit of light blue and brush. So you want most of the background to be white, but you never want to get a canvas and think, oh, that part's white so I don't have to paint it you really have to go ahead and, and add some paint there because if you don't, every time somebody touches that canvas, it's gonna get dirty. So we're just wanting to do just a messy background. So again, we're using mostly white and I'm grabbing a little bit of blue. So you can see I've got my palette here with different colors. So I encourage you, even though you've got all of your colors there together, to um, get you a paper plate, your palette. You can go right over those lines. You'll still be able to see them at the end. So again, I'm holding my brush kind of on the side like this and painting. Now at home, you may want to um, just kind of dance around the letters or come right up to them. You could paint over them and then just go back and tidy them up with a uh, Sharpie. It'd be very easy to do that. But you can lightly that way to make sure, you know, you still see everything and then just get a Sharpie and go over them. At the end, we'll be fine. All right, and I'm just kind of picking and going back and forth. I want my background to almost look just fluffy and happy too. So I'm doing that light blue. Don't have a lot of paint on my brush when I go back in with that blue. So I'm just dabbing, almost making it look like a cloud, look like a little purple got in there and that would be okay too. So you've got a very textured background. Hold that up, make sure that you can see. So you can actually see where that's built up on the canvas a little bit. And I'm going to take my white paint and get just a little bit of black and make kind of a smoky color and get a little bit of water. Okay, so I just barely dipped it in there. And now I'm just gonna go around and keep grabbing paint. I can grab a little more white if I feel like it's too smoky. And we're definitely wanting to do that wet on 
wet technique. Now, I am bad about not cleaning my brush off uh, very well. You do want to dip your brush when you're getting colors that are very different from one another. And you want to make sure that you're dipping them in the water and then drying them off. All right. And notice I am painting in a twirly motion. So that you can see that wet on wet technique and how it's all kind of creating swirls. So you don't want to blend those all together. We actually want to see them. I'm painting out to the edge, covering up the black lines. All right. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm going to mix a gray again, but I'm gonna get a pretty dark gray this time. And I'm going to paint my ears and the head in. And then I'm going to get the little legs. And while I've got that gray, I can go in and add some little twirlies on top of that. So just kind of be loose. Really, you're just kind of going in circles and lifting your paintbrush occasionally. Okay. So now... While our little legs are wet, we're gonna wipe that off, grab a little pure black that hasn't been mixed in with anything. And on the right side of the leg, we're just gonna do some broken lines. And then we're gonna come over here on the face and we're gonna draw a nose, which kind of looks like a triangle, right? And then we're gonna do a little whoop to the left and a little whoop to the right. And let's go ahead and put a little black on top of the ears. Maybe do a few little loose hairs there on top. And then we're gonna clean our brush off and give that area a little bit of time to dry. And let's grab some dark green. And I'm gonna hold my brush like so. And I'm gonna kinda go up and down, up and down. And Make the feet kind of hide underneath the grass. Now, if you feel like everything's kind of mixing on you, it's probably because your canvas is wet. So if you want, you can dry your canvas. You can pause the video and dry your canvas and um, come back. All right, now we want to put some light green in there with that grass. You never want anything to be one color. So, I'm going to put some of that in. Okay. And let's go ahead while we've got that light green. And let's just do a curved line on the left. All I'm, and the curved line on the right. So, all I'm doing is putting my paintbrush down and making a dot. And then I'm curving it down. And you, then you'll go back and let's act like we're adding little petals. So then you just kind of dab around. And then you can take some of that dark green and you can do the same thing. So just kind of add some dark petals. And you can look at your piece. Like I'm looking down here and I'm thinking, well, I'd like to have some darker green down there. So I'm gonna add some of that at the bottom and then I will clean my brush off and dry it and I want to paint my heart so I'm gonna take up and have red on my plate here I'm gonna mix white and red together you will have pink on your own but I'm gonna make mine and paint that heart in pink and I'm gonna 
stamp it while it's wet just mix some red in with it and maybe a little bit of that blue that I had because I think that looks pretty and we will take some of that pink and we can put a little pink up here on the head and under the ears sweet if you want you could brush some of the pink on the face clean your brush and we're going to grab a little white and we're going to do white eyes and we will go back to the black and we're gonna do dots. Okay, so now what I want you to do is dry that really, really good. And then we're gonna talk about how we can add a little bit of detail to our picture. Okay, so you can use a Sharpie or um, a paint pen if you have one uh, you could also use expo markers believe it or not uh, work pretty well too but you can go in and add some black lines and definition at the end and if there's anything that you don't like about your picture like here when i drew when i was drying mine i kind of created a little mess so i'm gonna go in and just clean that up real quick. Okay, and so now I can go in with my paint pen. I like to use, uh, this is a really good brand, Sharpie brand. And I can add a little definition around my um, sheet and some lines. So I can go in down here and just kind of go back and forth and add some black. And some of these spots are still a little wet. So you do want to make sure it's dry all the way. Now I'm not creating a coloring book picture here. So you can see these lines are irregular. I'm not trying to outline it perfectly. Um, it does not look good when you do that. So I'll kind of outline and lift. So wherever I want. And I'll add a little black here and there for some definition. So. You could do this with a paintbrush, um, but for me and my style that I like to do a lot of it is loose and fun and free. Um, this just kind of lends itself well. And you can go around the outside. And again, you can see how loose and quickly I'm doing that. You can do some on the inside if you want. And if you do this with a paintbrush, just make sure you're using the tip of it. And I can give some more eyelashes. And if I want, when that dries, I could even go back and make the um, pupils on there a little more prominent. And then you can take your marker or your um, paint pen. And if you want, you can go back over and outline all of those letters. You can see how easy that is to me in comparison to using an actual paintbrush. They make all kinds of special pens for artists that are much more expensive than what we're using right here. And so then I could outline that area as well. And remember if that's dry all the way, and I wanted to make that more prominent, I could do that as well. All right, I hope that you've enjoyed this lesson. I can't wait to see what your picture looks like. And I hope that y'all have a wonderful evening. Have a good one.